it's bigger reactor times, dudes. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into bigger reactors today. That hurt a lot. Uh, but yeah, I want to show you guys something I did a little off camera. So the charging station is so much better now. I hooked it up to our thermoelectric generator here. I put two uranium blocks here, two water. And as you can see, this thing charges back up pretty quick. It's great because we don't have to, you know, keep processing combs for power. And then I was also having issues with the uranium and coal setups or graphite setups over here where they were just not getting enough power. Like, I don't understand how we got this one to work um, for the iron, because I mean, like this one is still good. It doesn't have any outside power. It may be this electric blast furnace. It might just be uh, easier to run, which could be it, um, than this guy, the small electric, but even though he's at this small, anyway. Um, so yeah, we've I've converted it over to a thermoelectric generator so that it runs off of this, always has power so we can always get honey to this generator. So as long as this processes, uh, this will like fully process. And as you see, we got 981 uranium and then coal over here is a little crazy. We got 20 of 48, we've maxed out. Oh, we maxed out. Oh no, we maxed out. Let's grab some of that. Okay, now we can start processing again. We start getting honey. Okay, so I'm grabbing a bunch of graphite because we definitely need that. I'm also going to go ahead and grab a heck ton of iron. And I'm just going to throw all of this into our system here. Whoops. Eventually, we'll have a way of connecting it up to our system, but today is not that day. Now, I'm sure if you held this much uranium in real life, you'd probably just, like, explode. But anyway, uh, actually, we do have a ton of iron in here, so let's go ahead and get this farty parted. All right, so we've got the basics here. We got our fuel rod, our control rod, reactor terminal, reactor access port, uh, reactor casing, reactor glass, and then the reactor power tap. So it's great. We're gonna have two different power taps, um, and then we're also gonna have two access ports. But we need a heck ton of these reactor casings. Oh, that's right. We're using a different um, uranium. This is this is fun. There we go. That's the that's the uranium we needed. I like that it gives you four. That really makes good use of our uranium. Okay, so now we have probably too much reactor casing, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, reactor glass. We're probably going to need a bit of that. We don't have... Oh, I've converted it. I've converted it into clear glass. I don't know if this was optimal. Uh, can we even convert it back? I don't believe we can. Or can we just use it as normal glass? Let us see. We cannot. Oh, this puts a little dampen on, on my video. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. We can go and get some more. Uh, oh, don't, don't go there. I will do this. I will do this for you guys. I will go mine a bunch of sand. Cool. So we have two stacks of glass created. It's a beautiful thing. Now we can make a stack of... What? Oh, okay. That was weird. It only put 63 in there. Okay, we're good. We got we have 64. That's I think that's all we need. We're only going to have it on the front. I haven't even come up with an idea for the build yet. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and make the terminal. This is the brain of the reactor. Beautiful. So we don't need that anymore. We're going to need two of these guys. I don't have any pistons. I love this. So you can just go like that. And now we get two of these. So an import output or import export. I said I said outport. That was goofy. That was goofy. That's not how things work. All right. And so then um, we're going to need a few of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that's a three by three. Yeah, we'll just do it. Uh, we'll do a kind of a smaller one for right now. More than likely, we will do a bigger one later. Um, and then I want, so three by three by three. That would be tw 27. Yeah. <clears throat> I was almost doubting myself, my math. It's like, I haven't taken any math. I should know how to do this. Okay. And so I believe that is everything that we require to create the bigger reactor. Now, question of the day. Where are we going to put it? Um, hmm. I think we put it over here. Kind of, because I do have this area kind of chunk. No, I have this area claimed, 
but not really chunk loaded. And so I, I really want to go ahead and put a bridge going over here eventually. Um, so yeah, we'll make our little cool reactor house over here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna clear this out real quick and we'll be buzz, burr buzz, poops. So I made a slight change. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're here, but I decided I wanna put this in the basement because I figured that'd probably make the most sense um, to put in a basement. You know, I probably wouldn't want this above ground. That might, uh, that might make the cows look a little funky. So anyway, we're down here in the basement. I went ahead and actually made a new tool. Um, the builder's wand, uh, or the wand from construction wand. If we do recipe, it's just two sticks and a, uh, a diamond, but this should help us. This should help us a lot. And let's see here. We need to bring these up three each. I realize we're probably going to need some more, uh, these rods. So we might be going back. I think I'm going to make this five tall. Yeah, I think we should make this a little bit taller. Okay, so yeah, this is going to look better too. It's going to give us a little bit more power, I believe, because there's more uranium that can go in. And so, yeah. Okay. So on each of these, we need to put the, the control rod cap. Messed up. All right, and then now, now we just fill in the gaps. Sorry, this is extremely difficult to control in tight quarters. We're too powerful. Oh my gosh, please. Stupid jetpack. Okay, I believe, yeah, that's everything. Good. Oh, good grief. Okay. So that's looking like a snack. Bam. Okay, and so the other thing we're also going to probably need to worry about, not probably, we're going to have to worry about, is cooling. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to put uh, fluid in each of those little spots. Bots, and I don't know. I think water's gonna be okay. I actually need to go check the wiki real quick. Okay, so I totally forgot that graphite blocks are actually like our best friend in this because they dissipate heat, like they're extremely efficient as well. So like these are definitely what we wanna use, but I don't know if I have created enough graphite here. Yeah, we're, we're totally good. Okay, perfect. Um, so, all right, so that should cool it pretty good. And then the reactor glass. Okay, so it's completely sealed. Uh, I don't know why I did this. So we're gonna go ahead and poke this one out, place this here, perfect. All right, so it's like, hey, look at that. Your reactor is technically good to go. Beautiful. And so then across the back here, um, so if this is the center, access port, access port, we will set this to output. Um, and then we're just gonna have the power tap here. And this is where we get our power out of it. Perfect, okay. So that's good to go. Now we need we need to get a bunch of uranium in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna clear just a little bit more room back here. Okay, so we got a little bit more room back here, perfection. Okay, so we're gonna place these here. We got our pipes. Um, so we do this, and we're gonna be pulling out of here, pulling out of here. Let's make sure, outputting waste. Perfect, okay. So that's gonna go in there. We're gonna put our uranium in here and it is being put in, beautiful. Can we see it from the front? We can, amazing. All right, so this thing is full of uranium now. So if I go ahead and I click on, oh my Lord, how much power are we producing? Oh, you know, just 32,000 RF per tick. Holy freaking crap. It is kind of warm. 
It's pretty, it's steep, but it's still kind of going up and, okay. So yeah, um, that's working like crazy, which is really good. Cool. So we have power. We have lots of power, but we need a way to get it out and, you know, to other things. So what I'm thinking is there's a mod that adds back in the Tesseract. Oof. Okay, we have that. Okay, that's actually not too expensive. I need to go kill some Endermen, but I don't have any looting. Is there a way to get a looting book or something like that? Looting three. Can we get this? Ah, from an enchanter. Sucky. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put this on my sword. Uh, so we got Smite 4, Looting 2. Looting 2 is what we're really after. So I'm going to go to the Nether and see if we can find some Enderman to punch. We got our first long tan and handsome boy. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Okay, he's really wanting to get started. Yes! Two Ender Pearls. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, here we go. We got our second dude. Oop, he's over here now. Now he's over here. Ah, no pearl. Oh, son of a. All right, round two. <laughs> All right, so we got the four we need there, but we needed another four. Otherwise, we don't have anywhere. We have we have a place to take the power, but nowhere to put the power. So I need to find a couple more Endermen. Hopefully, they're nice. Yo, it's an Enderman. Whoa! Okay. We got five. That one not only scared the crap out of me because he broke my helmet, but he also just teleported and started whooping on me. Okay, so we have six ender pearls. We still need more, unfortunately, um, but that does give us a little bit of, um, like, we can go ahead and create our first tesseract. So, yeah, that's good. That's good, at least. All right, so we got our first Tesseract. We can transfer items, fluids, and energy. It's pretty neat. I love this thing. It's from, I think, Thermal Series that used to have something like this, the Tesseract, and now it's like its own separate mod, which is chill. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to place this thing uh, uh, right here. Oh. That is trippy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, energy... <clears throat> We're going to call it Turtle Power. Yep, private, perfect. Activate, and then send only. Send and receive, we'll just do that, okay. And so, if we have any power still in here, we do. Okay, so that's now full. Um, cool. I mean, I think that's working. Um, we're still lacking two Ender Pearls, though, to really test it. And I think it's time we just bite the bullet. Uh, so we're going to go like this for the other Tesseract. Nope, we can't bite the bullet. That's okay. I was going to say we should just make some armor, but uh, we don't have that many diamonds left now. So good news. Uh, we just had a blood moon rise. I have, um, maybe good news. Probably not. It's got a weird sound going on in my ear. Uh, but now... Where did it go? Pressing a bunch of buttons. Hopefully, hoping it comes back. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. It was interesting. It just disappeared on me. Cool. But now we have the secondary Tesseract. Um, and so what I'm going to do is steal this guy. And we're going to go inside where it's safe. 
and we're going to test this guy out. So if we place this guy here, and this guy here, we set this to that to receive power. Oh, okay. There, this thing's full. All right, so let's take our jetpack off and put it in. Yes, we can see it's actually draining out of here. Amazing, guys. We have amazing power. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea how excited this makes me. Oh, look at all that power. Ooh, man. Very cool. Okay. So, the other thing we really need to do is set up a way to get our... Our, um... What's it called? Our uranium over to the reactor itself. So we need blaze rods. Uh, now we can do this from blaze essence, but again, we need to kill blazes with it. Um, the other way to get blaze rods is through uh, hostile neutral networks. So I don't know if I want to do that. So it probably means we just need to go kill some blazes in the nether. Which is pretty chill with me, but I am going to create some armor for myself so that I don't die. Um, and I'm going to go with some gold boots. Because I want to. Alright, let's get this farty parted. Let's go kill some blaze. Okay, we got a blaze over here. Ooh. Where are you going? Oh! Why did I hit the bee? I just turned the corner and accidentally smacked the bee. I feel so bad. Okay, there's a blaze over here. Ooh! 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 Wow! Okay. That was a bad corner to turn around. Alright. May have gone back and gotten some better food. You can't tell, can you? Interesting. Blaze gold. Okay, we got six. Just need two more. We'll come back with Silk Touch and grab those spawners, because I believe that mod is in this. And that way we, we can set up a... Like a really good XP farm and a way to get blaze rods, which would be great. That'll be for a future episode, though. Got this guy here, thinks he's cool. Yeah. There we go. We got our eight. Beautiful. Oh, hang on a second here. Frick. Oh, we're going to need more than eight. Ah. Uh, I just discovered something. There's so much. Wait, what? Find the bandit towers. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, geez. Hey, you bandit. Oh my gosh. It's like spawner heaven. What if... Uh oh. Huh. Huh. There's so many spawners. Oh yeah, there is a prize up at the top. Oh! Ender pearls. Obsidian. Gold. Ender pearl pants. Um, gold and iron. Uh, diamonds, pants, apples. This what? Wow, this uh, plus a jetpack. You know, you uh, you really got you won't you gotta try it. We got some. We even got more over here. Yeah, we totally took on these bandit towers. You got any ender pearls in here? Oh, jeez. More diamonds. 
More chesticle protectors. Gold. Iron. What do you buy you? Come on. Boots. Oh, jeez. I almost launched myself off the map. Oh, yes. More. More ender pearls. This is great. Oh, a bow with mending on it. Holy crap. I'll take the... that. All right. Oh, ender pearl. I feel so cheaty. And then I don't at the same time. Because, like, I'm leaving most of the stuff. And then if any of the other members, you know, here's my coordinates. Look at that. Over here. Way out here. You can come and get this stuff for yourself. Oh, my gosh. We, we've gotten over a full set of diamonds. Oh, and look at the ender pearls. Oh, my lord. Oh, my. Oh, more diamonds. 25 diamonds. This, this is ridiculous. This is going to cause emotional damage. I'm just kidding. A book. Does it is this cheaty? Like, am I cheating by doing this? Because I made a, an amazing jetpack and just flew to the top without fighting through the bottom. If this video gets 100 likes, I will go through this on a live stream with you guys. We'll go through these all the way up to the top. So 100 likes. You know what you got to do. Man, that's crazy. We even got one more. All right. What was that potion? Uh, <clears throat> liquor? I hardly know. Oh, yes. More. More under pearls, please. Multi-shot? Yeah, we don't need that. I don't know what those maps are for. They're probably good. I'm going to ignore them. End of pearl, please. What? What is that? A looter. Look at that. We got 17 ender pearls. I was not expecting for that to be so successful. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make these ender pouches now. Um, yeah, so one extra of those. And then with all the ender pearls we got, we're okay there. So we can make two ender pouches. Perfect. All right, and then do we have any string? No. No string beans. Okay, so we got plenty of wool. Um, yeah, so we should just be able to do this. Bam, and bam, perfect, okay. Do we have any cactus? We do. So let's go ahead and we'll throw this here. We'll throw some in here, perfect. Okay, so uh, we're gonna place chest here, chest here, if we click these, yep, if we click those, we're good. Uh, so we're gonna go Green, 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 green. And then the middle ones. Actually, we just need one. Um, these middle ones are going to be lime green. So now if I do this, yep, it's in both of them. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Oh, wait, we need one more pipe. And so what we want... So we're gonna place this right there. Gonna connect that, and then we'll be pulling items out. Beautiful, so these will be getting inserted into there. Now we come over here to our reactor. And, ooh, this has still got stuff in it, perfect. So we break this guy. We're gonna put this guy here with all of that. And now that is how we go right from our bees into our ender chest and right into our reactor. So now we have so much power available and now we're running a little low. We turn this on for a little bit and now we're back up to full power. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. That has been Bigger Reactors. What a great start to the week. I hope you guys stay tuned for this week because we got some fantastic videos planned. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.
Peace out. Bye-bye.